with you, my friend? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Uh, You've been listening to any good music lately? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you want to tell me about it? Yeah. I actually, uh, I re-listened to it just before I left work. Like, to all okay. of stuff just before I left work. Uh-huh. Um... Do you have the, like, are you stationary? Or are you driving? Or what are you doing? I'm walking, but I have all of the songs that I sent you. Okay. And, uh. I'm going to try to read the list as much as I can while driving, if it's at all okay. legal. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, don't be killing yourself now. <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay. So, um. Yes. Let's, let's preface this for the audience. Yes, let's. What what am what are we doing today? <laughs> we are going well. If we if your listeners have been uh, following you diligently, and they will remember the one of the last podcasts a few weeks ago, say maybe a month ago, when we were talking about the fact that there's this new radio station, Mountain City Rock, but it's an internet radio station, and they've been playing kick-ass music. And I've just been like like a giddy little school girl, girl like, oh, my God, oh, my God, this is so awesome. I so obviously hear new music exactly, and old music. Exactly, like exactly. So been, exactly. I have been listening to it, by the way. Oh, the radio um, station. Yeah, and I used up all my data. I actually, it doesn't, so the app on a Samsung, the way it works <laughs> is you turn it on, and if you want to turn it off, oh. you're not listening to it, it doesn't really right. turn off. <laughs> So I guess oh. I've been running for quite some time. Ruh row. However, my data, my new data start uh, started like the two days after. So. Okay. Yeah, actually, I just added new data, but supposedly you only need 60 megabytes. Um, like, say for example, your travel time is like an hour. Yep. It's only 60 megabytes. Yeah, it's, it's uh, not very of much. streaming. No, exactly. When it's you're very streaming minimal. audio. It's, it's it's not very much. Exactly, exactly. But just in case, I I went and increased my my data plan because I need to be connected. Damn yeah. it! <laughs> Must have the music. And oh. yes, yeah, so some of the songs that I sent you. Yeah. Well, there was uh, there was a couple off of uh, the latest Warrant album. Yep. So I have a question first. Are all these Go. songs songs that you discovered from this radio station? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay, they're completely new. Like, I mean, the only, the, uh, I mean, Warrant is the only band that I knew of. And, okay, that's but I had, I, much. Yes, th- but the other ones are completely new to me, and it's it really is like Christmas morning, and you're, I, I don't know what it is, but there's such a rush when you find a good band, and it's new music, and it just regenerate it re-energizes me. And it just gives me like it's it's like it's a drug. It's a drug yeah. is what oh, it is. Yeah. I my name is Tracy and I am an addict of uh, of good hard rock music. That's right. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know, so out of the so I, what I want to say is out of the list, mm. I heard of other than Warrant, of course. I mean, you and I went to go see Warrant. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, and who did they open for? I think we talked oh, about this before. My. Was it I want to say it was Poison. Yes, yes, yes. I think it was yes, Poison, yes, yes, yes. and they were yes, way better than Poison, if I recall. Yes. Oh, hell think, right? yeah. Oh, my God. I think my Warrant surprised us. I think we liked Warrant, but I think we liked Warrant even more when we were done. Yes, that yes. That's my recollection. No, yes, without a doubt. It was, uh, oh, yeah, no, um, Poison was just, it was it was pathetic, and I saw Poison um, a couple months ago when they were on the same bill as Def Leppard and Tesla, oh. and I was like, really, did really they, just... Did they improve? No. Because no, were... C.C. DeVille is still... Oh. <sighs> they were really messed up when we saw them, though. That was their peak period of just being... Yeah, yeah, it was. On, on it was everything. A... I want to say it was like their flesh and blood tour yep. or like they were, that was the album they were touring on. And, yep, that and would be uh, right, yeah. yeah, just, yeah. I, I don't I mean, I they're good. I mean, they are such a good, hard working band. Love, love, love them. Okay, good. I was they, wondering if they were still as solid as I remember them because I remember yes. back in the day, mm. they were the band that people didn't talk about as much as everyone else. Because mm. they weren't, they didn't look like poison or 
you know, Mark Slaughter or Braz, Brad, they, Brad, Brad, Baz Elias. <laughs> yes, 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 exactly. It's tough. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it's tough when you don't look that good. <laughs> that's well. They, they think they they were kind of like the working. I, I the actually, work, yeah. you know what? I was like more the working man, but they had an intellectual edge. I mean, yes. because you know they were talking about uh, you know well Nikola Tesla. Oh yeah. And uh, and just uh, the the way that they they wrote their lyrics was just so inventive and so um, innovative. I liked. They were I liked at least their ahead of most other bands in my opinion. Oh yes. Without a doubt. I mean, just they were in their own category. It was, yeah, I definitely, uh, I like their their style and I like their music. And uh, they, they're they always a good uh, bang for the buck yep. um, for them. So, it's anyways. Just, yeah. Inter- okay, yeah. So, let's move on to the songs, I guess. I was going to say, I, I could have gone on and told <laughs> like 10 more stories about Tesla. <laughs> right. Yes, but we, we can. There's no way out, no way out. <laughs> From, from this living hell. <laughs> Can't sing too well today. This is a did no. <laughs> oh. oh, oh no, oh no! Don't tell me that that's the worst. You can't have a sore throat. I no. can't have a sore throat. I know we we can't that afford w- it. No, we cannot because that would be the death of us. That would just, we can't be put uh, on the shelf there uh, temporarily. That just does not happen. No, exactly. But, or uh, as, as my as an Acadian might say, we can't afford it. We can't afford it. Yeah. <laughs> Tu peux pas, tu peux pas faire ça. I, I, I can't afford that there, you know. You can't afford that. I mean, I, I don't have the expense account for that kind of don't. thing. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I, God, I, I, God bless know, the Maritimes, we honestly. Could, we, damn it, we could invent two characters. We could do a, a, a secondary podcast. Hell yeah. Two efforts from New Brunswick, we could call it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that could be it. <sighs> You are brilliant. You, my friend, are a man <laughs> before his time. Truly. Or completely stuck in time. I mean, stuck in time. There you go. That would be a great song. Nah, that would. Nah, be. I would never. Listen. Anyways, I'm just going off on my. I'm going on a tangent. Tangent. Anyways, yes. So, so, uh, so out you... of those bands, I did hear Blacktop Mojo before. Oh, really? okay. Bit, yeah, they do play them very, very sparsely on the radio here. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't even know what song it is, but I've heard them played on the radio here, which is surprising. Well, the song that I sent you is called Where the Wind Blows. Yeah. And to be able to put people into context as to what they send, because they're out of Texas. Yep. So basically, if you took Soundgarden and Leonard Skinner yep. and you put them together and, you know, they made a baby nine months later. You'd have blacked yeah. up mojo. So there's there's that whole southern sound that yes that it kind of so, so from my perspective when I heard of black up mojo it it came out of that uh, I don't know second generation third generation Texas blues sound mm-hmm. which, mm-hmm. which became Pantera yes there yes was Pantera-ism in there in the way um, in some bands the guitar player plays with the drummer. And Interesting. Or it does. Generally, oh, okay. it's a rhythm section, right? The bass player. Uh huh. But I notice there's definitely a groove that goes on where there's the syncopation between the guitar player and the guitar. Uh, sorry, the guitar player and the drummer, which our band does. So I was listening to this going, oh. "Wow, that sounds like Alex on guitar." Oh not, wow! Not that we're as good as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Don't get yeah. me wrong. <laughs> hey, man. But, hey, but that's you're on we, the right track. In our band, the bass is a lead instrument. Okay. And the guitar player plays with the drummer a lot of the time. I see. So if if the so just as a explanation, I guess uh-huh. if the drummer is going that's exactly how the guitar player is riffing. Jigga, 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 So that kind of syncopation goes on. Oh, okay. So I've noticed that's what these guys do, and it's like, oh, like I like it a lot. Okay. Well, I don't know if you intentionally segued because I don't know if you heard another song. I don't even remember if I saw I, I must have sent it to you. It's a guy by the name of Rex Brown. Oh, yeah, that was the other one. Same thing. I and see. who is Rex Brown? Well, he's the former bassist for Pantera. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> another so, another yeah. concert we saw, by the way. Yes, yes, saw that's them true. On the oh, my vulgar God. display of power tour Damn. opening for Skid Row. 
Wow. If I forget anything, I'm so calling you because you have the mind. Like, cause that was, the trap. That Holy was a crap. top five concert for me. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because yeah. it was, it, if you recall, I don't know if you recall, mm. it was a few mm. days before I, I, I moved away. Really? The last concert we saw together. Well, then you see, that's so it, probably why I've blocked out everything because it was yeah. such a sad time for me. But it was such a good show. Your dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Decker yeah, and yeah. Dave. <laughs> he drove us to the yes. show. <laughs> and that was Diamond Dave. Yes, that's I did. liked Pantera somewhat. Uh huh. Um, but when I moved to Winnipeg right after that, I was yeah. heavy into Pantera. You're heavy, right? 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 I was, so crush, I'm... I was crushing on a girl that liked Pantera. So it, oh, really? Oh, well, there you go. And I that, just that seen means... them, and like, oh my god, you saw Pantera? I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> Hey, so you were the end all and be all, so you were like uber uh, hot because you. I wasn't people. quite cool enough for this lady. I like this lady <laughs> sure. a lot, and it just never panned out. Oh well, you know she totally missed out. But anyways, yep, she did. But yeah, so uh, so yeah, this uh, that particular train song, I yeah, I, no, I was completely blown away just by the sound. I really liked it, and then I'm like, who the f is this? And I'm like, uh huh, Rex Brown. <laughs> I know. <Holy> sh- <laughs> I, I know. I know. I had three standout songs out of the whole list you sent me. So Rex really, Brown, really? that was one of them. The okay. Black Top Mojo, I really liked a lot. Okay. What was the other one? Um, was I it Miller High Water? Well, let's get to that in a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite song of the batch. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> but I really like that Old Lord song by I Can't <gasps> See the New Band. In, it, the dur- in this moment. Oh, yeah, my was, God. That was really good. It had a lot of different styles in it, too, which was kind of Yes, cool. yes, yeah. Well, as, like, as soon as I heard the first kind of, like, chorus of that song, I got goosebumps. Yeah. Goosebumps. I was like, oh, my God, I love this chick's voice. She it is, wasn't a chick I, I didn't even know. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah, like, yeah. This very... is either a guy with an incredible range. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah no 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 oh chick singer that's even cooler yeah 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 and i mean i'm i'm really digging um uh, i mean uh her and also uh lizzie hale from oh, God, uh, hailstorm yeah. okay, she yeah. whoa yeah. just unbelievable I'm, I'm i'm a huge fan of her because she's a huge fan of things really and really she doesn't pick in whatever she likes she, she likes a whole bunch of shit mm-hmm, cool. mm-hmm. she Right, right, right. Well, yeah, it's, you have to keep like an open mind about different, yeah. uh, different types of music and exactly. take thing, different things from uh, from different uh, right. styles, whatever. I want to, but name, yeah, I want to name drop here because um, oh. th- this old lord. What's the name of this band in this moment? In Is, this moment. Okay, so this. Okay, it kind of made me think of there's a band, oh. and this is something I'm gonna. If you don't can't find it, I will send you. I've got three tracks. From okay. uh, this band, they're called Domenica. They're from Winnipeg. Okay. And they had this phenomenal song that I instantly connected with. It's a hard really? rock band with a, okay. with a female singer, mm-hmm. and um, everything about this band is freaking awesome. And I, really? they're, they're touring Europe all the time, so I don't know what level of success they've achieved, but I uh-huh. wish the best of them. But yeah, it's called Domenica. Um, yeah, I could just drop some tracks in our Dropbox folder. You guys yeah, 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 okay. totally. There's one song um, called, uh, I think it's called Serotonin. That's the one I connected with right away. It was like, oh, wow. Just, I don't listen to lyrics often, but mm-hmm. lyrically the song hit so many freaking buttons for me. Really? Okay. Yep. And I don't listen to lyrics, but for some reason she made me listen to them when she said Wow. Me. So it was okay. really, really good. So yeah. it, it was very much, it reminded me of this. Interesting. Interesting. Anyways, yeah, so she's just, I don't know. I, I've, as soon as, like I said, as soon as I heard, like, the first uh, chorus and, and lyrics, I was just like, she is unbelievably cool. I want to be this girl when I grow up. Yeah, that was my <laughs> second favorite other than that she sent me for sure. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. And it was so, it's just that creepy else? intro. I know. It just it had atmosphere and it told a yes. story. Yes, yes, Concisely, yes. Concisely, it told a story. Yes. This like God have mercy Taylor on Swift. me. Like 
uh, no. dissing somebody, whatever. This actually had atmosphere and this is deep shit, man. Yeah, it was like I I love shit like that. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> She's uh, she's really unbelievable, and uh, I hope to hear more stuff from them because uh, she's uh, – her name is Maria Brink. Maria what, sorry? Brink, B-R-I-N-K, Brink. Interesting. Anyways, she's awesome. And yeah, so gonna, what else? I'm definitely going to be checking more out. So my, my mm-hmm. favorite song out of the – I kind of want to talk about them all, but my favorite song okay. out of the batch yeah. was Hell or High Water. But I want to get to that. I want to finish with that if we could. Okay, yes, so, yes, yes, so yes. Else, so, so the Warrant songs, I listened to both of those. I mm. like them a lot. Um, they're standard. They're, they're standard hair metal. I mean, but yes. like... Lyrically I think Robert, and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah, but, yeah. But voice on this guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, holy Robert Mason. Shit. I know. I fell in love with him as soon as I heard him... Uh, he was the second lead singer that came on board the uh, George Lynch project, the yes, uh, yep, Lynch right, Mob. Yeah. And uh, ever since then, I've just – I've loved his style. I've loved his singing and uh, everything about him. It's just amazing. To, now, for completely selfish reasons, I would like mm-hmm. to see um, this gentleman in a, in a more mature band because there, there, there is kind of a very juvenile aspect to them. Yes. Band. Like they haven't well, really progressed from the 90s, and I kind of hope they might. But I guess they well, also don't want to lose their audience either. Yeah. You know, that whole cherry pie, let's have fun, dirty girls. Well, well this is it. Like, ever since they came out, like, well, ever since they switched um, from Janie Lane, like, this this last album that this came off of, of uh, Louder, Harder, Faster, is their first album after Janie Lan- Lane's passing. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are these and- both, both tracks from the same album? Mhm. Okay. Yeah, just it just came out this May. Okay, so maybe something current might actually be might have matured. Like musically speaking, lyrics aside, it was very yeah. very good, and I really really liked it. Especially yeah, yeah. The, um, not harder. It's faster. middle of. What was the other song called? It's a Devil Dancer. Yeah, Devil Dancer was really really good. Uh, yes. Musically speaking, the 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 chorus, like the the vocal. All mm-hmm, that stuff mm-hmm. was really, really good. I just thought that the lyrics were about ten years behind the song. They're oh, okay. They're like That's, middle of the road type, yeah. like vanilla. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like flip of the tongue from House of Lords or something. Or yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I liked that at the time, and it's really mm-hmm. funny. Yeah, like, yeah. Maybe it's not supposed to be funny, <laughs> but I find it humorous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And this I didn't find humorous. I just felt like. No, you know? I think they they uh, I think they still have like the moniker of like a, like a party band. Yeah. But maybe like instead of being sixteen, seventeen, they're like twenty five. Yeah. And you know Between they're kind of slowing down. LMFAO could tour together, I guess, or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> funny, funny you should say oh, that. Oh, another segue. Awesome. Yes, another segue. Um, I want to say it's uh, Red Sky, uh, Red Sky Mary, that you mentioned. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, that they, was good too. The the song Gone. I swear, yeah. there's all kinds of like segues left, and we did, we didn't plan this at all. No, no, no. <laughs> we just have one brain. That's exactly that's exactly it. Anyways, this Red Sky Mary. Uh, that you had already heard about. Yep. Uh, they they um, they've actually been on tour with Warrant and okay. LA Guns. They, they were good too. They didn't make my top three, but they were pretty darn close. Mm-hmm. I, I I did enjoy it. I I, I found it uh, catchy, very catchy. Yes, 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 yes. There's definitely a quite uh, a hook factor to that song. Okay, so what else we got? And on the list? Uh, we got uh, Wayland through the fire. Oh, so, wait. I think that's the one. Yes. I think that's the one I said. Oh, yeah, Whale Answer the Fire. I was able to look at my note. That's the one I just wanted to sing along to the whole time. Yeah, yeah, did yeah. I, did I really it, like it? Really, you know? Mm, I, I, I don't know, but this the range of the, the vocal and kind of the sing-songy nature. I just wanted to sing along. Right, right, right. Like kind of a I think brown-eyed I, girl ha- or... <laughs> sure, along. okay. You know, it whether always, I like the song or not, it doesn't matter. I just want to sing along. <laughs> if Van Morrison was in a hard rock heavy metal... Bad, yeah. That's what it would sound like. I see. I got you. I'm yeah, there with you. Sometimes you just sing along to, and this is just kind of one of those you just <laughs> sing along to. I think, well, it kind of had, like, I'm very, um, unlike you, like, I really hook in to the lyrics, like, yes. right out. I mean, if it's, Lyrically if speaking, it's a part, it's very strong. 
it's it's if it's a yeah because i mean it has an inspirational message behind it like i'll bleed you through the fire i'll be with you type of thing yeah. so that was kind of uh I, you know just I, I a positive a, yeah i think that's a song that i i like right now i don't love but mm-hmm. 10 years from now i'm still gonna like this song it's not gonna mm-hmm. go away it's kind of one of yeah, yeah, yeah it has staying power you know what it reminds me of what? <laughs> let me tell you there was a song <laughs> called home came out okay. a few years ago okay it was by oh man I'm going to put it in the credits. I can't remember the name. I actually went and bought it, the song, because I really, really liked it. And they played it oh. on the university radio station here. Okay. And the lyrics of Home are just about two people that are just in love, and they're not exceptional people. Like, they're just you know, like you I'm, and me, like yeah, just they're normal. Yeah, like regular people. And uh-huh. for me, that was like, um, and Sylvia liked the song too, it's just kind of a, a love letter Aww. between two people who love each other. And in the song, it's, Two people singing to each other. That's so sweet. Because the guy sings and the girl sings. And, wow. Uh, there's lines like, I still love my ma and pa. And uh-huh. um, uh, home, that's what I call home. Home is whenever uh-huh. I'm with you. That's, that was the line. That's so sweet. And they had a really, uh, uh, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros was the name of the band. Oh, okay. Magnetic Sharp? No. Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Ed- Zeros, I think is what it's called. Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. Okay. Yeah, oh, but I'm it was gonna really good. Go I will actually, there's a, a, I will send that song to you. It's not, doesn't Thank fall you. into the type of music you and I listen to. No, no. But, but it's so, like I mean, this song in that the word, the words mean so much and the mm-hmm. endearment in the singing. Right, very right. Similar. That's what this song reminded me of right away. Okay, okay. I just wanted to sing along, and I sing along to home all the time whenever it plays. Like oh, wow. Oh. Well, like, completely switching gears and saying, like, I love you. Yep. Well, there's this song, I Don't Need Your Lovin', by Inglorious. Oh, that's not, that, I didn't have that one. <gasps> no, I can't believe I didn't send it to you. Oh, no. Unless I it's suck. in the folder after I took the song, though. I so suck. Because I okay. went in and then copied the folders of the songs to my phone. But okay. no, that is definitely not on my list. Okay, well, I will, I will send it to you as soon as I get home. But if you uh, want to just get like a, like a pre, like a little taste, basically, uh, it's a UK band. This is the only UK band that uh, that I've been listening, or at least in the list of songs that I thought I sent you. But uh, yeah, this uh, they're out of London, and uh, the lead singer actually uh, sang for a while in the Trans Siberia Orchestra. Oh, okay. Okay. And also, um, right there. one of one of the guitarists is a Scorpion, old Scorpions uh, guitarist uh, Yuli John Roth. Ooh. So yeah, okay, so no, it's even more interesting. Well, yeah, there you so, go. Yeah, and like this for the next podcast because I want to. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, so, at? and I think the last one was the one that you really wanted to kind of leave the best for last. Okay. It was I want it all. Okay, so, am I yes. correct in, yes. was, is that the Bullet Boys song singer band? No. No? No. Boy, did that sound like the Bullet Boys. Really? Well, it's the ex-drummer from a band, I don't know, I've heard of them. I haven't heard anything of them, but I've heard of them. They're Thank called you. a Treyu. Oh, Okay. I and, really like this song. I'm like, yeah, oh that's my God, like in is, your face. It, it, that, it, it's like someone signed it. You know what? Let's create a band that Sean would like specifically. <laughs> it hit every freaking trope yeah, that it, 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 I like, cheesy it, or not. I just, every single freaking trope was in there that I like. It checked every box. Like, the, they had the sexy verse, like, <laughs> Whatever, like that yes, was sexy yes. how I sang it there, but yes, they sang it sexy. <laughs> but it had that sexy. There's a bit of a groove, um, yes, like THC groove from Bullet Boys. It had that little mm-hmm. boom, 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 like yes. I, I'm shaking my hips right now. You can't see it. <laughs> I'm shaking my hips and my elbows and my elbows and my shoulders. Please keep your arms, your hands at ten and two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, so yeah, okay, but I can but still you move can my shoulders. Still, you can still move your shoulders and shake your group thing, and yes. And then so. I like so the singer did a lot. So from a vocal perspective, I was listening to what the singer is doing vocally, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. the the range they're exhibiting, and how they're singing in different voices. Because I don't like someone that just sings kind of the same all the way. Yeah, through. yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's like 
hate to say it, but like an ACDC, how it's just the same all the way through. But I like well, ACDC. He actually has character. Yes. Uh, Brian Johnson but I mean, but I'll, that I'll agree with you. Re, re, uh, not monotonous. Repetitive. It's repetitive. I mean, let's let's be honest. They've come out with the same album yeah. for at least 40 years, it's except true. they just changed but, the name. But it somehow works. Like, I do like yes, ACDC. Yes, yes. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. But a lot of bands copy that. Yes. And then they have a, a specific vocal style. Mm-hmm. And every song sounds the same. Yes. And But with ACDC, you can, they can get away with it because it actually sounds good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, well, they also song, have, like, yeah. So this song here uh-huh. had everything. There was nice little, um, like, the chorus. Pause. Uh-huh. I will it out. <laughs> yes. I wish I could sing right now. I actually just want to sing along to it. Okay, no, don't go blowing your voice. No. That would not be good. No. But it was it was catchy and every which, and then he yes. kept doing uh, Mark Torianism. Uh huh. Like Mark uh-huh. Torian from um, from Bullet Boys, and I'm like, yep. this has got to be the Bullet Boys band because there was something you had sent me that had like the three ex members of Bullet Boys. Really? Oh, okay. I can't remember what it was you sent me. I was, I, I, must I have been in a, this was it. Must have been a drunken stupor. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> but it had a lot of Bullet Boys swagger. Yes. To it. Okay. Oh. But that that swagger that Bullet Boys has, but there's a maturity behind it. Mm-hmm. It's not schlocky or cheesy. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I don't even know what the lyrics were, but the way they were sung, I think the lyrics yep. are probably pretty good. Well, if you're interested. The album's name is Vista. Vista? Vista. Yeah. yeah. It's their latest album. They just came On out the strength of that one song, I would go buy the CD tomorrow. And I could totally hear you saying, I would put money in, those, in that guy's jeans. I would put, yeah, I'd put a couple bucks, in, I'll put a couple bucks in those guys' jeans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, so, well. But yeah. I was, what do you, so what's your, so. Okay, you foisted these songs on me, so you've given your opinion yes. on, on them all. What's your two cents on this one? Well, I mean, definitely. Like, I think I've pretty much made my uh, my love affair known about, uh, you know, my, my love for In This Moment. Yes. And just, like, unbelievable singing style and just her oh. – uh, it, it's haunting. It's haunting. Yes. And, uh, and it, um, let's see what else was there. I mean – I, the there is there's songs that are kind of like you know your your typical um, well I I don't want to say typical but like hard rock meets country kind of good old boy um, like party song. The um, what's the sons of Texas one shot yeah um, one shot and that's uh, Lansdowne. Oh Lansdowne yeah yeah and I mean that's that's just you know, that's pure. Just you know, raunchy fun. Yep. Um, let's see here. What else was there? I definitely uh, am um, loving uh, Red Sky yeah. Mary. Yeah. Um, and uh, I guess uh, and and glorious. I, I and I was com- I was completely blown away that they were that they've been around for a couple of years. They've been around since 2014. Now I really have to hear those. Yeah, but uh, I can't believe. It. Okay, seriously, I have to send it to you. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, think yeah. that? Do you think that's going to steal my top spot? Uh, it might. It it might. I mean, because the guy is heavily influenced by yours and my favorite, David Coverdale. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> so it's just uh, it's their second album, and uh, second album. <laughs> Second album. Yes. Would say. <laughs> this is from the second album. Second album. <laughs> God bless. You. Annihilate, annihilate. You know those guys. Yes. <laughs> God bless. <clears throat> hey. Okay. Yeah. So for the next yeah. podcast, so you're gonna give me that song. I'm gonna give you yes. uh, the the Manica song, and I'm yes. gonna throw in a special treat in the fold. Woo! Woo! I'm gonna throw in something you probably never heard. Okay. But I've got some studio tracks hey. from Bugamo himself. Shut up. Oh, okay, yeah, I've, no. got, I've got like an album's worth of material that he sent me. <laughs> and it is good. <laughs> 
He is, he's a not, But not the way you expect. Not from what, okay. the stuff we talked about before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a whole folky side that he does. Really? And he's got one song that just makes me cry. Maybe maybe you want to, like, preface and explain who Bugamo is. Yes. Okay, so Bugamo is... Okay, so I've got my two favorite guitar players of all time are yeah. not in band not out of Hollywood. Not. They're my brother right. and Bugamo. Right. Easily, without no, like, no second guessing whatsoever. Mm-hmm. My two without favorite, hesitation. Yeah, my two favorite guitar players. Mm-hmm. Yes, I like, you know, guys like, um, you know, Slash or, or, or yeah, whatever, yeah. but no. Well, they, they, they've... If I had the opportunity, I always said this before, and I'll say it again. Mm-hmm. If I had the, the choice of playing on stage next to my brother or mm-hmm. Bugamo, mm-hmm. or playing on stage next to, like, I don't know, Eddie Van Halen or Steve Vai, mm-hmm. I would pick those two gentlemen first. If Over. I had my dream band... Those uh-huh. would be the two guitar players in my band. That's if you had your druthers to choose anybody, yep, for like the ultimate band that you It'd would be those two. I would be those no two. question, no question wow. at all. Wow. And I get to share the stage all the time with my brother, so I've, I've realized that dream in two different bands. I'm freaking or three different bands. I'm ecstatic about that. I've yet to play with Bugamo, and I would kill. Who would I kill? You I'll would kill, kill four. Everyone. You know what? <laughs> you guys give me five bucks. I'll go take okay. out Trump if you can guarantee I can sing <laughs> on the same stage as Bugamo Chuck Chuck. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so he's a guy that this I grew is... up with. He's the guy that introduced me to harder music. So he was a huge Aussie fan. So mm. he's the guy that got me into Aussie. He's the right. guy that got me into Megadeth. He's mm-hmm. the guy that got me into Metal Church. He's the guy that got me into... Um, um, I don't know, bands like that. And then that's what he listened to in high school. And then after that, he went down a completely different path and started listening to, like, Simon Garfunkel. Wow. And um, He took and, a hard left. <laughs> yeah. And I kept that going. Okay. okay. Like, I like the, like the harder stuff. Like, I was hair metal guy, and then I transitioned mm-hmm. to a little bit. I still like the hair metal, but I like the... The melodic guitar playing was what he was into. And he could play any of that stuff in his sleep. Wow. And he used to send me tapes of him just playing, okay, I'm going to play you Annihilator now. And he just play it. And then I'm going to play you uh, Halloween, uh, a song by a band called Halloween. And the song is called Halloween. <laughs> and he just played it for me. It was freaking awesome. Like, this guy is phenomenally talented. Was he the same grade as you? Yep. Okay. Yeah, and he was friends with me and Rich. So, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to include some tracks. I'm okay. actually going to, you know, I'm actually going to reach out to him, and I'd like to actually play one of his tracks in the podcast. Well, so yeah. So I'm going to get permission from him to do so. If okay. he doesn't, I'm sorry to everyone, but I'm going to yes. really push to, p- I'll let him pick the one that we get to play. For old time's sake, you, yeah. would, you would think that, uh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. But I'm, I'm really going to push to play Illusion Fluid, a song here. It's one of his heavy tracks. And okay, and this the, is... A, and he plays all the uh, instruments on it. I was just going to say, is this... But is this one of his own... Um, his own creations, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know he sent me a whole, like, uh, like, um, like a CD's worth of all original creations. Wow. Yeah, so there's... That one is really, really good. Oh, God. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll see what he says. But I'm going to send okay. you the tracks so you can listen to them. And if okay. I'm allowed to share them to the public, then I will... Yes. So we'll 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 see what he says and we'll take it from there. Yep. But in All the right. meantime, you're it, sending me stuff. Yes. I'm send, sending you stuff. Yep. And we're gonna talk about it on the next one, which do you wanna do again next week? Like, sounds like a plan. When, sometime Same. when between Wednesday and Friday again? S- sounds like a plan. Awesome. Works for me. Perfect. <laughs> Yay! Right. I love just I love talking with you and I love talking about music. Yeah. And both of them like together is just the ultimate. Yeah, it's awesome. Anyways. Okay. So uh, you still have some ways to go, but I think we can leave the people go right, right now, and then we'll catch them next week. Yes, we will. Awesome. awesome. All right. Talk Take it easy. Bye. Bye.